one of the greatest things about this uh, Zoom landscape is access. So last semester when I taught on Zoom, I, we were teaching a section on Chicago culturally inclusive theater. And so I was able to zoom into the class, experts from Chicago who could talk to us about their experience as theater practitioners in um, Chicago theater. And so we talked to four different people from Steppenwolf, the Goodman Theater, um, a collaboration theater, you know, so really top theater artists who just came to our class for half an hour to speak, you know? And that was remarkable to have that kind of access. And then in terms of teaching in the DPAC spaces, um, the DCO Theater is a remarkable space, as you can see. Um, it's one of our beautiful theaters here. And um, I have a very small class. And so it's actually been very nice to have so much space because of our situation with the pandemic, um, being concerned about, you know, uh, being uh, near many people. And so it's actually been a blessing to have this cavernous theater to have a small class in. Um, and I'm also in the Pinot as well, and that's been a great space as well. So I'm really pleased with the way that the DPAC has, um, and my department in film, television, and theater has made a lot of efforts to make sure the faculty who are teaching in person are um, in safe spaces and rooms that are big enough to accommodate distancing as well as um, keeping um, sort of, you know, uh, spaces that have a, a sense of, of uh, abundant airflow, if you will. Um, so, uh, you know, I look forward to the day when I don't have to teach in a mask, when I can take the mask off. Um, but in the meanwhile, I'm grateful for this chance to share, you know, with my students and to be in the same space together. I normally teach seminar style. So I teach in a room where we put the desks in a circle and we, we sort of sit around a table or a, in like a square. So in this particular con configuration, it's not, it's more presentational. Um, so I try to accommodate that um, style of teaching with being a little bit like in, in the DCO theater, I actually sit in a chair on the main floor and not on the stage. But there are times where I have to show a slide or I have to show a video clip. So I'm up on the stage holding forth in front of my class. So it's actually, I mean, honestly, it's been uh, a new experience for me. I don't normally teach large lecture classes. That's not my particular forte. And so to, ha have that, to have that style of teaching with a small class has been an interesting experience. But I think, um, I mean, the spaces themselves are, this, this is an extraordinary center. I mean, I. I when I came here 10 years ago, I, I was bowled over by the beauty of this building and the state of the art theaters. I mean, it's Notre Dame really has an extraordinary center here. And so to teach these spaces um, where normally we wouldn't be in the DCO theater, I would be in a classroom has actually been a luxury. Um, so, uh, and yes, it's been presentational, more performative, but, um, but frankly, it's actually been part of the novelty of the experience. Connection, the challenges with connection, the desire for connection, the challenges to work towards connection, um, and really how hard this university has worked to keep us connected. I mean, that's really been extraordinary and um, I'm very grateful. Going back onto Zoom for those uh, two weeks or so, um, I mean, I was glad that we had that chance to be safe and to be on Zoom. But um, I myself found I really longed to be back in the classroom. And so I was grateful that we were able to do that again. And it's been now a couple of weeks and um, we're navigating it. You know, every day is a new challenge. Um, we're in my particular class. I teach story structure. So it's writing short plays, short films and short TV scripts. And so we're negotiating how do we workshop our pieces? Do we workshop them on Zoom where we can take the mask off and speak? Or do we workshop them in person to have a presence with each other? So I took a poll today in class and we're going to do half and half. Some students prefer to do it in person, some students prefer to do it on Zoom. So it's nice to have that flexibility. I uh, was very glad to have a chance to come back into the classroom after spending um, the second half of last semester on Zoom. 
Um, I was surprised how on the first day of class with my mask and my students masks and distance, how happy I was to be in their presence again and how powerful presence is, even though our faces are were covered and we're far away from each other there's a real power in presence. And so I was really pleased to see that for the first three classes. Um, it's challenging to teach through a mask. I'm trying to project right now. Hopefully you can hear me okay. <laughs> um, I'm trying to draw upon my uh, years of uh, vocal training as a young person, um, being in choirs and so forth. Um, but I think that um, that said, there is, um, there's been a great amount of support here at Notre Dame, especially in the Department of Performing Arts Center. The staff has been remarkable, helping us with everything from the tech setup to the room setup um, and being on call every class if we have any issues, and I've been calling them many times. So um, that's been very helpful because I have, um, in many of my classes, I've had the dual delivery system. So I've had a student who's been on Zoom for a variety of reasons. Um, and so to have to have them on Zoom and then teach the class and be including them, sharing my screen, there's just a lot of spinning plates. Um, but um, once I got past the, 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 the technicalities of it, um, it was it's really been rewarding being back in person again.